Hi guys, good evening. Welcome back once again to The Edward. I'm your host, Eddie, and in tonight's video I will be discussing some very interesting news that broke earlier today. It was uh, released via Instagram by uh, the man, none other than uh, Superman himself, Henry Cavill, that simply quoted, that simply read, hashtag Superman, which looked like the Superman suit in all black. Now, before I start going on, of course, uh, please be warned, I will be referring to massive spoilers in terms of Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice. So if you haven't seen that movie yet and you intend to, do not keep watching or listening to this video as I will most likely be making references to that film, especially the ending where the biggest spoiler happens. So please be warned that from here on out I will be discussing big spoilers. If you don't care and you want to keep listening, that's just fine. But if you do want to see Batman v Superman, turn off this video, go and watch that movie, and then come back and rewatch this video so you have been warned that being said uh henry cavill released the photo uh, via instagram earlier today that said hashtag superman and it was of course it was the black superman suit now this is extremely exciting for fans because this could, obviously superman is going to be returning for justice league because a it's superman you can't have superman without the you can't have justice league without superman <laughs> B, the official character banner, I won't say the word poster because it doesn't say the title, but the official character banner, which features all six current members as of now, includes Cavill's Superman, as he will most likely be appearing in the film, which is the, st the standard classic blue and red costume. But in this Instagram picture that Henry Cavill teased, it seems like at least temporarily Superman will be donning the all black suit. Now, as I was recently brushing up with DC Comics history, the black suit was worn by Superman after his resurrection or return to life. Because just like in the ending of Batman v Superman where we saw Doomsday, excuse, excuse me a second. Excuse me. My apologies. Just like in the ending of Batman v Superman in the final battle where we saw Doomsday uh, pierce Superman's chest with his uh, bony, with his uh, sharp, spiky bone that his uh, right hand used to be. We saw him stab Superman right before Superman finishes him off with the kryptonite spear. That was taken from the 1992 to the 1993, the death and return of of Superman, or at least the storyline of the death of Superman, where we see Doomsday uh, kill uh, Superman in the heat of battle. And according to the comics history, Superman does return with longer hair, and the joke is that it's a mullet, and if you've seen some of the fan art of Henry Cavill and the comics, it does kind of look like mullet hair. <laughs> Although I doubt that's the look they're going to go for. It's not. It may be long black hair temporarily, but it won't be mullet hair, I think. Uh, anyway, uh, but he. more importantly, besides the hair, he dons the black suit just temporarily he returns and he's not quite his normal regular self and uh he gets into a couple of scuffles i believe with uh some government officials or at least a couple of other superheroes and especially a super villain something about him fighting bizarro when uh, lex luther attempts to create a clone of superman or something like that but uh People who aren't fond or fans of the black suit should not be worried because I don't think this will be the permanent new costume for Superman. I think it'll just be a temporary costume we'll see in the movie uh, once he initially returns to life. And I think eventually, before the movie ends, we will see him return to his regular red and blue costume. So I think the black suit is just a temporary thing. I don't think and I don't think it's anything permanent. And I say that simply because of the character banner that was revealed at Comic-Con of the Justice League, where he's clearly seen alive and well, standing with his fellow superheroes in the red and blue costume. But I am now incredibly intrigued and excited to, regarding Superman's return in the movie, how he's brought back to life, 
when during the movie he comes back to life and if he comes back in a really awesome way like say the Justice League is fighting Steppenwolf and the Parademons they're hopelessly outmatched and outnumbered and they're and they're suffering losses in a sense where they're all weakening rapidly and there's the the Parademons are just too much and they're overwhelming them I think we're going to see Superman make some kind of grand spectacular spectacular entrance where donning the black suit and just wiping out waves of parademons with his own fist we may or may not see that if we do see that that would be pretty wicked awesome but uh, bottom line superman is alive and he will be returning for justice league we don't know how big of a role he'll have or or what the extent of that role in the movie but he is alive and he be, will be coming back for future dc films leading to our our other topic, which I meant to address earlier last week, it was confirmed, or not necessarily confirmed, but a juicy rumor at Warner Brothers that yes, Man of Steel 2, that is the current working title, is in development over at Warner Brothers. Obviously, uh, Warner Brothers slate can be updated or changed at any time between now and 2020, which is when their film slate goes till. But uh, they're saying that the Man of Steel sequel probably won't happen for another three or four years, which is understandable considering the release dates of their other upcoming future DC films. But that is the rumor that they intend to do a Superman sequel. Uh, I know many people felt uh, mixed reactions regarding Man of Steel. A lot of people loved it. A lot of people hated it. But uh, no matter how you felt about it, it is uh, it will probably be happening in the next couple of years. Uh, how it'll be handled, who will be handling it in terms of director, writer, obviously Henry Cavill will return as Superman. But uh, what I'm really intrigued about as to what the story could be about, maybe it's life after the Justice League or at least after the first Justice League movie. Perhaps the Superman, the Man of Sequel uh the Man of Steel sequel uh, will happen between the first Justice League movie and the second Justice League movie if they stick to their schedule. The second Justice League movie is supposed to be summer or at least 2019. So maybe we'll get Man of Steel 2 somewhere in uh, 2018 or early 2019. It's still a bit premature to say, but it's, it is a good possibility. Uh, I know a lot of people, a lot of the fans are wanting him to go face to face with Brainiac. That would be uh, pretty cool, I think. You know, have have him go to toe to toe with Brainiac because you know he already faced down General Zod, the other Kryptonians. He went face to face with Doomsday, and uh, you know he had his little fight, his little uh, sting stink with uh, Lex Luthor. I think it'd be it'd be kind of cool to see Lex Luthor in one of his famous Kryptonite armored suits or one of his Lex suits where he can physically take on Superman and get a couple of hits and pounding into him and Superman can return the favor. If not Lex Luthor, Brainiac is also very cool. However, I'm also really, really intrigued by Jared Leto's words saying how he would love to see his Joker go up against Henry Cavill's Superman. They exist in the same universe. Who says it can't be done? Now, if that were the case, obviously Batman would have to have a brief presence in the movie. Or maybe not at all. Maybe for some reason Batman will be completely unavailable and, uh, you know, unavailable or unwilling or unable to assist Superman in his fight against the Joker. And if he does go against the Joker, how long would that fight or confrontation actually last? I'm not sure, but I know I'm extremely excited by the premise or the idea of Superman facing down the Joker. Uh, if not for a long, for not for the whole movie, just temporarily, I think that would be very cool. Obviously, it'd be a short fight, but when I say fight, I mean more of a personal, not necessarily a personal struggle, but a bad guy versus good guy struggle that's not necessarily a physical fight, if, if that makes sense. But uh, that is uh, what we have to go on so far. So Man of Steel 2 uh, is uh, supposedly in development. Uh, obviously, the only returning character that would be returning would be Henry Cavill as Clark Kent Man of Steel. Uh, we'll probably see Lois Lane, his mother, Martha, uh, probably the return of Perry White, and uh, maybe 
maybe the return of Lex Luthor. I don't know, but I'm more excited. Uh, but because that movie uh, is still far off, I'm still excited about by this latest tease by Henry Cavill himself revealing what appeared to be a black Superman suit. Now, it very well could have been a filtered photo, but we just won't know until we know, will we? So what do you guys think of this uh, latest uh, development or this Instagram photo? Do you think this is legit? Is Henry Cavill teasing us with the real legit black suit of Superman? Or is it just a black and white photo of the regular Superman costume that just looks black and gray? It's hard to say. But either way, please feel free to leave your speculation, your guesses, and your theories down below along with all of your comments. Let's please be respectful and civil of one another's beliefs and opinions, of course. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel as I will continue uh, doing coverage on a regular basis of the DC Universe and all the upcoming films that we have so much that we are very much looking forward to in the next several years. Thanks again for stopping by. Have a great rest of the night. And of course, until next time, may the force be with you.